test is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello, everyone. Mark Helton here. Hope you're having a excellent new year. Um, I am personally myself just blowing the doors wide off this beast. Uh, we have been having a rockin' first couple of days here, literally just you know, pounding the pavement out there, getting new clients, closing deals left and right. Uh, and, you know, the water is really, really good. Um, so I hope you're, you know, for those of you that uh, are, you know, are hearing what I'm saying, I hope you're joining in. If you already landed a couple of clients, please go ahead and uh, drop something in the chat because I love seeing people that are, that are just doing amazing stuff go ahead put something in there oh yeah <laughs> yeah people are out there literally like we're we're doing a lot of uh stuff here with hot prospector so we've been landing a lot of deals for our sales automation system uh mostly you know new clients that are uh trying to scale up their sales force so that is huge 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 so anyways today we have a couple of really special guests as you know in addition to doing the stuff that we do here on the uh the software side of things with helping our customers increase their sales we also work uh a lot with uh you know doing web design web uh web services things like uh mobile websites and selling um search optimization to uh, to some of our customers and, and that sort of thing on our VIP marketing services. And uh, I'm always looking for good tools that are going to help my customers get great results and, uh, you know, good training that is going to help me get a leg up on my competition. Um, if you're that type of person, go ahead and just put something in the chat. You know what I'm talking about. You're always trying to beat that next person out. Uh, you got to always stay above your competition, right? So we've got uh, a couple of special guests here today um, that are those people. Um, they walk the talk. They, they Every single day, they live it. Um, and one of those guests I actually had the opportunity, one of our guests I had an opportunity to meet up with in uh, Austin, Texas, uh, towards the end of uh, last year. I can't even remember. I think it was like October. Uh, but... Um, Todd, he is an SEO wizard. He knows, you know, more. He he he's forgotten more about SEO than most people have ever learned. And I know that he's partnered up here with uh, Herc. Um, and uh, between the two of them, I I mean, I haven't had an opportunity to really spend too much time with Herc, but I've heard lots of good things. Uh, between the two of these guys, uh, you have hit the jackpot. You are in the right place today because you're going to hear. Uh, all the stuff that you need to hear in your business today that's going to help take your, uh, you know, take your customers and yourself to where you want to be uh, in 2016. So anyways, um, just not to tease you too much about this. I talked to Todd, um, I think it was towards the end of December, maybe middle of December. Uh, time flies during the holidays for me, but uh, he was he was throwing out these crazy numbers about how you know he put a, uh, put this uh, simple little plug in on a uh, website or did some special little magic wizardry with uh, some some you know his voodoo that he does with SEO I guess uh, and literally he had websites going from page you know three or two have been stuck there forever shooting up to the first day within like 24 to 40 or 48 hours, something crazy like that. Um, I'm not going to tease you too much with all the results because I know he's got a ton of stuff that he's going to show you, uh, him and Herc. Uh, but without too much further ado, uh, I want to go ahead and bring on our two special guests, Todd and Herc. Uh, guys, can you hear me okay? Absolutely. Awesome. So uh, Todd is, like I said, he is the, you know, the the wizard uh, when it comes to SEO. If I ever need something, I always call him, ask him. Um, and uh, I know that he has got a ton of great stuff lined up for you today. And the goal here is within 20 minutes to get you all the knowledge that you need to be able to go out and do exactly what uh, Todd and, and uh, Herc are going to be showing you today. So uh, Todd, 
you want to go ahead and uh, take over? Todd, Hello, you, uh, yep, there you go. Todd, are you there? No, that's uh, is, is all right. 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 There we hey, go. hey, hey, how's it going? I'm sorry. Uh, somehow I I looked up and uh, I was muted. I thought I had unmuted myself. So you can hear me now. Everyone uh, in the chat box, uh, give me a one, two, three, ready to go uh, in the chat box, and let me know where you're from too. There we go. Hey, Doug. Hey, Jim. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Don't be fooling around. California, Illinois. All right, Texas, Rhode Island. All right, great, great. Okay, well, listen, thank you, each and every one of you, for uh, showing up this afternoon. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, take about 20 minutes of your time, and what I want to do in the next 20 minutes is basically just show you what I know will be the uh, SEO game changer in 2016, and I know that everyone is going to be jumping on board uh, of these techniques pretty soon. So what I want to do in the next 20 minutes is show you, uh, tell you what it is and tell you how you can implement it on your own sites. I'm going to give you uh, some resources to go out and uh, learn how to do this thing. All right, so let me just go along, uh, move along right quick. Let me get on the right screen here. Okay, here I am. Uh, I really don't want to spend a whole lot of time reading this page to you, but let's just say I've been been online my entire adult life. Uh, I've, been, I've been doing all kinds of internet marketing from from lead gen, uh, uh, financial lead gen, I started SEO hosting back in 2004. That's kind of where I started in SEO was in 2003. Uh, I've been to speakers at some events with Ryan Dice and Keith Baxter. Uh, I'm kind of kind of the guy that started the whole PBN craze. If any of you have ever heard of that, that's uh, you know that's how we get uh, high valuable backlinks to our sites to basically rise them in the rankings. Uh, participated in a group called OMG. Uh, which is a pretty big group, uh, taught those guys a lot of things, and now they're charging $7,000 a person just to get in there and to learn all of their SEO things. Uh, a quick picture of my family there on the right. but uh, So, yeah, I've been around for a while. Um, uh, I hope to uh, teach you a lot today. Now, uh, here's my partner, Herc, and, yes, he is a real rock and roll star, as the picture implies. That is Herc. That is not Photoshop. That is Herc Magnus. Uh, he's been online for... Uh, a really, really long time. He's, SEO has been uh, a few years now, and uh, just like anything that Herc does, comes out right away and starts crushing it. Uh, he's been an internet marketer for, uh, gosh, how long, Herc? Uh, past 10 years at least, right? More. I've been, I'm 38 years old, and I've been doing this since I was like 20, so it's, it's been a while. All right, yeah. So he was the, he was uh, online back when the, you know, the, the modems were around, same as me. Uh, so a uh, great guy. Uh, I've known Herc for um, I've known him for about a year now, and uh, he and I got to become friends and uh, SEO buddies. And uh, he showed me some of the things that he was working on, and I showed him some of the things that I was working on, and the synergy just went through the roof. And uh, we decided to join forces and uh, you know present present some stuff for you guys. All right. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to be talking about next generation search engine optimization. That's what I like to call it. Today you're going to see multiple new and old sites making big gains in the search in a very, very short period of time. And we're going to show you how you can do that. So give me the next 20 minutes and I'll prove it to you. Then I'm going to, going to demonstrate how we do it if you want to uh, learn later on. How you doing, Sherman? Has been a long time. Good to see you here, man. Okay, all right, guys. So just so I know that you guys are still awake and not sleeping over there, uh, give me a hashtag ready. I want you guys to interact with me a little bit here. On this webinar every now and then to make sure you're awake, make sure you're still you're still pumping around over there, and I'm not just wasting my breath. All right, ready, ready, ready. Everybody's ready. Okay, great. All right, what are we talking about here? We're talking about the semantic web. Has anybody out there heard of the semantic web? Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people out there have starting to hear a little bit of buzz about the semantic web. And the semantic web is kind of you can read some books on it. Just Google the semantic web, and you can read more about you know, how Google is um, implying that the semantic web is going to be all they're about moving forward, all right? But more importantly, what this particular uh, webinar is going to be talking about is structured data. And let me go ahead and give you the definition of structured data. And this is, this is directly from the Internet, so, so we know it's true. Data that can be immediately identified with an electronic structure such as a relational database. <laughs> For example, to retrieve the name of a city, the city field is accessed. 
In contrast, text is unstructured, and to derive meaning from it, the text must be scanned and analyzed. Okay, let me let me try and uh, put that into layman's terms here. What that means is, is right now, most sites, Google crawls with their bot, and they try to figure out what it means and what it says. All right, now they're pretty good at it, right? I mean, we all can agree that Google's pretty good at determining what your page is about. And, and the thing of it is, is though, it does take work. It does take power. Now, if you feed Google structured data that, it, it, that tells them exactly what your site's about, they love it even more. So now they don't have to spend their processing power analyzing and understanding because you've given them the information that, you're looking, that they're looking for on a silver platter. All right, now, exactly, who understood all of that? I hope I did a better job of, of explaining it to you, uh, but the good news is, is no one else does either. No one is using structured data to, to, to very much at all right now. According to Search Engine Land, 80% of all sites do not use structured data. And this is true. I have a tool that I can go in and put in any keyword and pull in the top 50 results and see who's using structured data and who's not. All right, so it's real easy for me to see, you know, uh, in a certain uh, niche if I can compete using structured data, if I'm going to get a leg up on them or not. So so very true, not a lot of people are using structured data right now, but mark my words, it is coming in 2016. It, it has to. Now, who cares? Like I just mentioned, Google cares. All right, according to SEOskeptic.com, and let me just tell you, I pulled this off of SEO Skeptic probably not no longer than three weeks ago. All right, and in the last uh, so, this, so, this, so this has been around for a couple years, but Google's never really come out and said, hey, this is what we want. But now, they're just now piloting a program that allows local business owners to provide information about their business by using schema.org. Schema.org is the key here, folks. If you want to learn all about what we're talking about, you can just go to schema.org or read articles that explain schema.org a little bit better. Schema.org itself is not extremely easy to understand because it's a lot of technical jargon. All right, for example, by providing in your site with a mix of required, recommended, and optional properties with values for schema.org, like the local business class. The local business class is one of the things we're gonna be focusing on today because you know lo this local business class is what kind of helps you tell Google where your business is located, uh, what its address is, what its coordinates are, what its business hours are, things like that. It's so it's a business can now provide Google with the information about all of those things in a proper structured data way. That's really what that means. All right, now another very important thing to remember, uh, or that I should just tell you, is that there's multiple ways to feed structured data to the search engine, but Google recommends and prefer, prefers using JSON-LD. So remember that, JSON-LD is another key term that you're gonna need to understand in order to implement structured data on your site. All right, also from seohacker.com, which is a very good site, by the way. You guys should should really take note of these two sites, and, and this is not your average, uh, um, um, you know, run-of-the-mill uh, SEO blog that you're probably used to reading. Uh, these are a little bit harder to understand uh, because they're just that much better, but really good uh, places to go. All right, schema is the new way of Google, Yahoo, and Bing to sort the whole Internet out. It's a system that will make it easier for the search engines to identify what a site or even a paragraph is all about. That is the simplest way that I can explain it to you. It just helps the search engines understand what the heck is going on on your site without spending processing power to do it. So that's, um, that's really what uh, 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 schema is and, and what its definition is and, and why Google likes it and things like that. Now. Now you say, Todd, so what, big deal, what is that gonna do for me if I spend all this time and effort and energy to, to understanding JSON and understanding you know, how to implement it in my site? What does that mean? Does it really increase the rankings? And this was the big question for me this year. I, I'd heard about schema and I've been reading about the semantic web for quite some time, but you know, I'm busy and I didn't really get around to actually implementing it and playing with it until this past year, until 2015. And wow, I'm gonna tell you guys that it really, really does matter. All right, I'm seeing the whole entire box fill up with show me. So, all right, so let me just show you uh, some of the results and proof that some of our students are, students are getting by implementing structured data on their sites. Here is a beautiful example. Um, I think, uh, uh, Herc, this is one of, uh, one of the guys that you know. I'll let you, I'll let you talk about this for a second. 
I think it's a client site, right? Yeah, it's 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 actually a buddy of mine that has a client, and he was in on the early beta testing of Project Supremacy, so I wanted him to put the the plugin on the sites and see how adding that JSON would react to the sites and. Much to his surprise, my surprise, and his clients, he uh, he got a nice big fat hockey stick uh, within 24 hours after implementing JSON. So it was uh, pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to tell you what, guys, hockey sticks is what your rankings will see, uh, what your ranking graphs will show you when you implement structured data on your site. No kidding, no kidding. All right, moving on. Um, here's just some. Um, uh, testimonials from uh, some of our other students. Uh, Magnus here, no relation to Herc. Page one, snack pack within 24 hours. Making five new sites this week. Uh, right here. Now, this is a great example that um, I'm going to let Herc explain a little bit. Page one rankings within Herc. How long would you say uh, Marissa was working on this site? Go ahead and, and uh, tell them a little bit about this one. So Marissa is actually a VA that works for me. So of course, as uh, we're building the plugin, I wanted her to get in early on it and build the site with it. So she was obviously busy with a lot of things, but in her spare time was building this site and implementing all the uh, all the stuff from Project Supremacy into the site. And within two months, she was able to get these rankings and then started contacting people um, beneath her and saying, look, I have a better ranking than you. Would you like to lease this site off me and collect all the leads? And she was able to successfully sell this site um, for $1,000 a month within two months of building it. So it was super exciting stuff there as well. Yeah, this is, this is what we like to call the rank and rent model. I think there's probably a lot of people on this call that totally get that, where you uh, take a site, uh, rank it on page one in a niche and then rent it to someone else who's on page two or three. I mean, that's the easiest way to score big money is just do exactly that. Contact the guys on two and three and say, hey, I'm already on page one. You're nowhere on page two. No one's going to find you there. <laughs> All right, let me click back over here. Let's see what else we got. Oh, JC Blake, he's been in, a, he's been in our group for, um, I would say, probably about six weeks now. And uh, he posted this. Uh, not too long ago, and I just wanted to read it. Um, I will be forever. I will forever be grateful to Herc Magnus that he insisted I take a look at this little plug-in project that he's been working on. One of my clients was moving around from page two to page three, went all the way up to the third spot on the first page. And with some of his trackers he uses, it shows it at first. Holy heck, that happened with no additional links or adjustments to the site, just the plug-in. Let it do its thing. Follow the instructions and watch and wonder. Thank you, Herc, and all involved. Fantastic plug and ridiculous support, and you guys have been a fan here for life. Now, that's coming from JC, a guy that just implemented structured data on his site, and uh, it did its thing and worked magic. And, guys, these are the kinds of things that we're seeing over and over and over again. Um, we have some, some live testimonials, too, some live rankings we can show you here in just a bit, so stick around. All right. All right. So what the heck does all that mean to you? Now, obviously... It just means you need to do it before your competition does. That's what we're telling you today, so just go get that done. Now, you can start by Googling uh, structured data and using schema.org, okay? Now, you can go there, and that's where it all begins. Schema.org is not owned by Google, but Google is becoming intimately uh, involved in schema.org and how they're presenting things. I'm going to show you a couple more websites when I get... Uh, uh, to that in just a second, but that's where you really want to start is at schema.org. Now here's some other uh, very uh, direct URLs that I can show you. Uh, Google tell you even how to use JSON-LD on their own site. Okay, if Google is publishing information about this, what does that tell you? It's pretty dang important, that's for sure. All right, let me break out of this real quick and uh, grab these links. Let me pause my screen just for a second. And um, here are the links, guys. I'm going to go ahead and grab these links. Uh, here is, uh, I don't want to start there. Uh, I'm going to start with schema.org. Oh, well, okay, that's that's a different um, um, site I want to give. I want to give you that additional resource here in just a second. 
let me uh, go ahead and pop these in the chat. So this is the site. Oh, I forgot to mention. Okay, so once you once you understand the structure of JSON, then I'm gonna this link right here. Let me send it to everyone, entire audience. This will this will sort of instruct you on how to insert the JSON LD structure into. Um, see, see, this is what JSON looks like right here. Okay, script applications JSON LD. So you'll just <laughs> yeah, but it's there. Um, I, I would like to to go to the developers. No, that's not it. I think you have it at the tab right next to that one, Todd. Oh, this is the structured data testing tool. Yeah, this is this is it right here, uh, a part of it. Structured data right here. So let me go ahead and put that in here. This is your testing tool. Once you once you've um, oh and here here's the entire article right here on Google about structured data. So, um, yeah, so, so you know, you don't, you don't really need to, to, to it's free information online. Uh, there's certainly, um, you know, a free way to, to understand this, to learn it, and, um, and implement it on your site. And I'm just telling you, you have got to start doing this if you want to compete with everybody else that's going to be doing this real soon. I'm going to go ahead and give you this link right here. This, uh, I found this the other day. Uh, and this, wow, this comes, this site here uh, really drills down into, you know, the guys that are uh, actually working with Google on schema.org, okay? So if anybody knows uh, intimately how these two are playing together, go in here and read some of this guy from Richard, Richard Wallace and some of his friends. He's going to link out to some other guys that uh, really know their stuff. I mean, these guys are real scientists. Uh, blows my mind the stuff you can get uh, off these guys and the things that you can understand deep down about schema and Google. Okay? All right, so that is the uh, links I wanted to share with you in order for you to learn all you want to learn about how to do that. And I'm going to check my time. It's now 4.23 on my end. And I'm trying to get, okay, here we go. On the current slide, okay. All right, so I'm back on the presentation again on, the, on, my, on my website. Okay, so basically that is the uh, how to do it online, why you should do it, and what happens when you do it. So, so for all of you that came, the, the one of the 20 minute answer, there you go. We, we, we have, I have, I have, I have, I have told you what it is, why it's important and how to go implement it and find the solution. All right. So I know a lot of you. That's all you came to came to do. Uh, I'm already seeing I, uh, everyone uh, hashtag staying. Uh, it's, it's I gotta okay. say, I love I love how you you are getting everyone to automatically engage here with this hashtag staying. It's like <laughs> that lighten up. I've never seen anybody do that before. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You know, I just want to. I just want to see. You know, if nobody wants to wants me to go on, then we can just call it a day. It's fine. Um, I mean, we, we, we're not here, but 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 I think that that we over the last several months, Herc and I have created uh, an, an amazing, easy way to do all that stuff. All right, I've already done all the hard, boring, uh, mad stuff that want to make your mind melt research. <laughs> Uh, uh, along with my dev team, right? I can't take all the credit. I do have some really, really smart guys uh, behind me on my team that develop a lot of uh, a lot of my crazy ideas. Um, <laughs> all right, so it looks like everybody's ready to see uh, PSV2. Okay, PSV2 stands for Project Supremacy Version 2. Okay, Version 1 was out for about a year. It did a lot of really neat things, uh, but we decided to add a lot a lot cooler things inside there, and now we're calling it version two. All right, let me pause my screen for just a second. Oops. Escape. Go back to that. And let me go ahead and just load up a site we have here, and we're going to show you this little WordPress plugin uh, called Project Supremacy. And what Project Supremacy is going to do is not only allow us to implement structured data in schema.org, 
but it's going to allow us to build a site from scratch, and we're going to get into a little more detail a little bit later. Um, hopefully, we can get through this entire demo in about 20 minutes. Um, we obviously, uh, once you start looking at it, you'll start seeing that there's a lot to it. But let me just quickly run down some of the features and, and, and what all this plugin does, what all is inside there. Like I said, it's not just schema. There's a lot more that we put inside here because what we wanted to do was build a plugin that would allow you to build a site from soup to nuts without ever really leaving the plugin. Okay, and we're going to show you how we do that right now. First of all, let me just go over some API settings. API settings means this is the stuff that we're interacting with off-site. Okay, uh, some affiliate programs. We have Market Health, Amazon, ClickBank. Okay, those are for those of you guys that build affiliate sites. Okay, well, if you build affiliate sites, obviously you need affiliate products. And what we've done is we've integrated with these three services in order to allow us to search and find products and get our affiliate links to put on our pages. We also integrate with Pixabay. Pixabay allows us to go out there and find images for our site that are free to use. Okay? We also integrate with I Need Articles. Everyone uh, needs articles and content for the site. If you're your own writer, great, you don't need this, but if you're like me, you have to buy articles and get other people to write content because you're usually you're building an affiliate site on something you really don't have, you really don't have much knowledge about. Um, so we integrate with I Need Articles, iWriter. We'll show you a little bit more about that later. We also integrate with Andy Capture and TubeCapture. We're going to show you why that's important in a minute. We also integrate with Google's Keyword Planner. I actually have the API, which is going to allow us to pull in all of the Google Keyword Planner data right inside of our WordPress blog. All right, conditional formatting. We're not going to worry about this right here too much. This is just something you'll get familiar with later on when you're understanding the competition of a particular keyword that you're targeting, either for local or affiliate. There's two ways we can run this, okay? All right, so now let me show you right here uh, this is the part that I was telling you about earlier, structured data and schema using the local business. So this is really, really simple. The only thing we need to do is cut and paste all of these fields and hit save. We also use the same as feature. Now, another good thing about this, and this is really, really important, you should really do this, is there's, there's, there's inside of schema.org, there is a definition called same as. That means like my face, because, because Google knows that everyone has a website and everyone has social media accounts. Now, if you distinctly tie these two together using structured data, Google automatically gives you credit for having those social profiles and you don't look like one of the uh, churn and burn scammer spammers because you spent the time to link all of your profiles to this site. And Google sees that automatically without having to go out and find your other sites to kind of guess if they're supposed to be connected or not, you are telling them automatically. So this right here is extremely important to fill out. Don't pass that up. Again, here's your address. If you're running a local business, then you definitely want to put in your city, state, zip, and street address so that Google knows exactly where you're at and can, can pinpoint that in the search results. We also have the star ratings and the review counts. Has anyone ever seen these in the SERPs where you see uh, you know the top 10? And you don't see this a lot, but you do see it on certain uh, searches from time to time. They have the star, the yellow stars, and it looks really pretty, and it like draws your eyes right to it, and that really, really, yeah, right here, uh, Sherman knows, ratings rock, and it really, really increases your click-through rate in the search. So very important there to do, uh, to, to add this in here. Um, so that's cool. Geolocation, this is also important. Uh, latitude and longitude is better than an address, right? Latitude and longitude tells the world where you are exactly. So much, much better. Geolocation is incredible. Last but not least, we, we, we've added a, a schema validator. So after you've added all your things, now really, if you add everything, if everything's going to come out all right. But well, we had a couple of users be like, I added all the stuff, but is it validated? Is it right? Is it correct? Well, instead of, instead of sending people over here to the validator, like I showed you a minute ago, I um, uh, forgot where it is. Anyway. Uh, now we have it right here within the site. So that's cool. Uh, last but not least on this page, we have proxy settings. Uh, we're not really using uh, anything for proxies right now, so, so, so don't, don't worry about this too much. The, the only thing we're using right now to, um, to, 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 uh, to, to get some data from Google is the anti captcha so, so we have proxies in here because every time I build a plugin, that, that it never fails that for some reason, some way, somehow, eventually we're going to need proxies to do something that, that we like to do, right? It's just the way it goes. Um, but but we're gonna but, but really these two right here are important. So uh, anti-capture and two-capture are two different ways 
to, um, to, to get some data from Google. So that is the, uh, the settings for uh, schema. Now, does anyone, does anyone uh, you know, dig the way this, uh, how, how you can add schema as opposed to, uh, you know, wow. uh, learning all that other, other that, jazz? Yeah. That is definitely the easy button. I was actually, you know, because I'm the, get, my mind gets a little bit numb when it comes to, you know, JSON, LD, and all this other stuff. But wow, that is very, very easy. I can't believe you did it that quick. Yeah, and, and this and this, my friends, can make all the difference in the world uh, from seeing your page flatlined on page two to hockey sticking to page one. We've seen it. Yeah, time we, and time we see it a ton of it. Yeah, we're we're gonna show you some more some more results a little bit later on. Okay, well let me move on here real quick. Um, uh, I guess you know what we'll do right now. Hurt, do you want to? Uh, I'm gonna let Hurt take over uh, now and jump into uh, projects, and we're gonna show you how how we can create. I see a lot of people asking me, is this, you know, for new sites or old sites? It's for both, okay? For brand new sites, you're really going to want to pay attention to this part because what we're going to do right now is, 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 is go to Google Keyword Planner or, and get all the keywords, find all the competition, and really hone in what our site's going to be about. And we're just going to show you some other uh, sites here in a minute that he's used these techniques building, the, building his sites with, and the traffic and the rankings are just phenomenal. So, right. so, so this is this has a lot to do with your on-page uh, SEO and and your in your keyword getting. If, um, Perks moving, you still can you see my screen already? Yes, you're looking good. Okay. Awesome. So, guys, you just saw like a lot of the results that we showed you was all based on this. You know what I mean? But this is not all that the plugin does. It definitely does a lot more, and that's what I'm going to attempt to show you. Uh, very very quickly even though it does a lot of things so typically um, when you're gonna build a new site um, you want to hey, plan out yeah one thing can you uh, can you make your screen a little larger shift plus a little bit yeah yeah okay yeah it's a little bit small because it was smaller than mine yeah yeah I think people are liking that yeah okay Jim you're good okay right, cool. go ahead yeah, so um, once again, like when you're building a new site, what you want to kind of do is, is get an, an idea of what pages you want to build and what keywords you want to target for those pages. That I mean, in local niches and in affiliate sites. And what this plugin does, um, amongst all the other things like the schema and stuff, is let's say, you know, you start with a, with a fresh slate. I have two, two examples in here that I'm, I'll probably go over a little bit. But let's just say we're going to do like an air conditioning Phoenix site. I'm going to open this up. And uh, we've already obviously done all the work here just to make things go faster. But you guys can see I have four little boxes here, and each one are filled with all these little colorful things. And what's going on here is each one of these boxes is going to represent a page or a post on your site where you're targeting a group of keywords. Okay, so you can see all the keywords in this group. We have uh, Phoenix Air Conditioning, for example. But maybe on this site, I also want to do Phoenix Heating, uh, Phoenix HVAC, and then Phoenix Plumbing. I'm kind of building out a bigger site. You can see that all the keywords in here are all related very, very tightly to the the uh, the group topic, right? And that's what you want. That's what Google wants to see. They rank pages. They don't rank sites. So when you create a page and you have all your keywords very, very tightly topic to this page, um, you're going to have a, a much better chance at ranking. And I'll go through how we get to like this organization stuff. But one thing you'll also notice is that on each one of these groups, we have title, URL, description, and H1 which are the four most important elements of on-page optimization. And what you have the ability to do with this entire page is look at your keywords, look at your volumes, look at your competition. So we do a broad match competition phrase, title and in URL uh, competition metric for each keyword in this group. So all you have to do, you know, is start filtering data, moving things around and being like, all right, which, which of these keywords am I going to kind of focus more on? But really, you can blend all these keywords for this group through your title, URL, description, and H1. And when you're done that, you have a perfectly optimized setup, okay? So what you would do from this point, oh, and one thing I want to mention is Todd kind of went over that conditional formatting. We're seeing like a lot of yellow, green, and stuff like that. All these are, are just, you know, default settings that we have of us saying, look, you know, this phrase match is low enough that we think it's easy to get to. This broad match is yellow. It's kind of a little bit more difficult, and these red ones are probably going to be more difficult. Red doesn't mean you can't rank. It's just our way of saying what's easy 
medium difficult. So that's that's what all those conditional formattings mean, and you can change those values. But we have nice default ones. Um, once you're done, kind of setting up these groups, I guess I should talk about how you get your keywords too. Uh, the first thing, guys, when you open this up, it's going to be a blank a blank slate. And what you can do, we have two ways of pulling in keywords. You can go to the Google AdWords keyword tool and create a CSV file of keywords that you like and then import them into this and it'll automatically create groups. Or all you have to do is click this automatically create groups button and let's say you're doing something like, you know, heating in Tampa. I guess you wouldn't have heating in Tampa. I'm a Canadian, so I think everything's cold. You probably have something more like AC Tampa, okay? You could do something like that and then just click OK. And what happens when you click OK? I won't do it right now, but it's going to go to Google through the API tool bring back a bunch of relevant keywords and try to attempt to group them as best they can. From there, you can clean everything up, create your own groups, and you'll end up with something like this, which is a really good plan of your site. Now, once that's done, all you have to do is click on create all pages and posts, okay, and it'll ask you for each group, do you want to create a page or a post? So you'd select what you want and click OK. Once that's done, you'll. Well, I'm going to go over to the pages and you're going to get kind of an empty page just like um, just like this one. I'll show you this one. And I'm seeing lots of questions coming, guys, and I will try to answer all those, but just uh, please do let me get through the presentation and then uh, I'll do the best I can. So you can see that through um, from our group to our page, we've inserted the H1 properly, we've inserted the URL properly, We've inserted the title properly, and we've inserted the description properly. So a lot of people have always confused this part right here with whether it's a post title, a page title, or an H1 and stuff like that. And that's all been figured out for you with the plugin. All you do is put in the title where it says title, like back what I showed you on the last screen, H1 where it says H1, and it'll insert them correctly. And you'll see that we have kind of a Yoast style snippet so that you can show you what your, your description is going to look like on Google. That's all done for you automatically when you click Create Page and you'll start with a blank page. Okay, now from there, guys, we have these four short, short codes that you see up at the top, and I'm gonna go over what each one of these do um, for you, and these are amazing, these are awesome, these are super cool. I'm gonna go back into this page because this one's kind of pre-set up for you. So the first one, this is called our internal short code plugin, and you can see if I click on this, you're gonna see a bunch of groups with keywords in it, what this is doing is it's showing you all the groups that you had created and all the keywords that exist within those groups. So if I wanted to link from this air conditioning page to my HVAC page using a nice LSI rich keyword, all I'd have to do is select it and you can see, I'm, I'm not going to do it again, but it's already been done here. It creates a short code for you that links from one page to another page with a keyword rich LSI, like an LSI keyword, which we all know Google loves, like good interlinking structure. You're able to pass juice throughout your sites. You can create silos, uh, stuff like that. So it's a super easy way to create interlinking throughout your sites very, very fast, very, very efficiently. The next one is called our affiliate short codes. And Todd kind of covered um, the affiliate stuff and I'll actually show it to you. So it's for you affiliate marketers out there that you know maybe you're not into local marketing and you want to do affiliate marketing. We have this um, affiliate tab where you can go and search for ClickBank products, market health products, and Amazon products. And when you find the product you want, all you do is click on create short code. It'll ask, it'll go send you a way to grab your link. And when you come back, here's a little pop-up that comes up, and then you fill in the short code name. You put in your affiliate link. And then we have three little options for you here, um, and I'm going to go over those on a different page. But once you create your link, it's going to put it up here in a short code manager for you so that this short code can be easily accessed, or you can even click on here and grab, grab the short code and put it anywhere you want on your site. Or right here, all you have to do is click on the short code. It's going to save all your short codes and insert the one you want. And you can see I've inserted that short code here. Now, those three options you saw, guys, are number one, we create the short codes with the option to open in a new window and that's going to increase your dwell time and it's going to reduce your bounce time. And those are both really important factors for uh, ranking factors. The longer people stay on your site, Google likes that obviously, and opening a new window is kind of a sneaky trick to be able to do that. Next option is a nofollow link. We all know that when you're building juice to your, your site, do not want that juice linking um, out. So we create a nofollow link for your affiliate links. And then the final thing, 
is we mask the affiliate link so that you know Google's not going to see your affiliate link the way they used to. And then, of course, more importantly, the people that are visiting your site are not going to be able to see that it's an affiliate link. It's actually going to mask the affiliate link. And I'll show you guys this page live so you can get an example of, of all these things working. Wow. The third one is... <laughs> yeah. I'm just blown away. Like all this, you guys have like literally thought of everything. Yeah. I mean, like you said early in the thing, Todd's been doing SEO for so long and I've been, you know, doing SEO and internet marketing for so long. Like when we mashed our two brains together, we talk for hours and hours and hours and really think of every single aspect of SEO and how we can implement that into the plugin. So thank you for that, Mark. That's, yeah, no, no, it's it's awesome. Sorry, I just had to say something. Yeah, no worries, absolutely. Um, next one, the third out of four is YouTube videos. That's it, It's pretty self-explanatory, guys. Instead of leaving your site um, to go find YouTube videos, just click on the YouTube, type in the keyword, and your YouTube video will pop up here and then show up. So we all know that Google does like relevant YouTube videos. Even if you have your own channel, you can load your own YouTube videos onto your sites, which is awesome. And this final one is another, it's it's as powerful, I believe, as the whole schema thing that we showed you. This is um, XF geotagging images from Pixabay, and I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with Pixabay, but what it is is it's 100% royalty-free images that no one can ever give you trouble for using on your blog. So if you want to add an image in your post, now it's as simple as you click this, you click on something like, you know, maybe my um, picture I'm looking for an AC unit. You click search. It's going to go to Pixabay and grab a bunch of, of images. Well, I guess it doesn't see AC unit. You can see I've already inserted one. Let me try that again. Maybe I'll do air condition. Not the greatest speller. Okay, there. So now you can see it's grabbed a bunch of kind of air conditioning images. Now the great thing, guys, here we've thought of more. What what what's the SEO of images? Well, image name, right? We can rename this image to whatever we want. And since I'm on an AC page, maybe I want to rename it to acunit.jpg. It doesn't matter. Just use a nice LSI keyword to rename your image. The next part is Big Daddy is the X of geolocation. So every image has made of data behind it. Um, and what we can do is, since I was in a site that I'm targeting Phoenix for, I can just type in Phoenix, Arizona, click on search location, it's going to recenter the map to Phoenix, then all I have to do here guys is turn on geo, and then of course I can add a meta description which would be another LSI rich keyword, right? And then I'm going to click on insert and close, and what it's going to do is it's actually going to grab the image from Pixabay, send it off to like XF Geo tag magic land, rewrite the back end of the image, send it back to your blog, store it locally, and place it on your page for you all with one single click. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the stuff. What, Todd, what was that other uh, image tagging software that everyone's using? Picasso Web. Picasso Web. Uh, give me, guys, give me a one guys, you guys. Don't, do, not, do not miss that, what he just said. Exif geotagging image is also something that no one really talks about. And it's really difficult to pull off inside of a WordPress blog. I'll say that when I first attempted to get that done, it was like, holy crap, I don't think this is possible. But we kept at it and at it and at it until we got it right. And this is huge. Geotagging your images alone can help increase your rankings uh, to, to, to a specific geolocation. Uh, so yeah, I just want to want to emphasize there if anybody was snoozing on that part, that's yeah. huge. That is huge. Actually, let's. Am I making? I know I'm moving really fast, you guys. So give me a one if you still want to see more. I'm not quite done yet. I just want to see if you're still watching this and right on. Okay, awesome. You're still into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone. Greg Park, uh, I just saw a question come up, and I'm going to cover that for you right away. So I'm just going to finish this up. So yeah, that's the super quick way to geotag images using Pixabay. Um, and those are the four short short codes. And now I'm going to show you guys that that page. So if we load this page and you take into account all the four little things, you can see we have our on-page optimization done correctly. We have an internal short link code that just pops it in there for you. We have an affiliate link code that I don't know if you can see the bottom left of my screen, but it's showing the same domain name as what we're on, which is because it's masked and it is a new no follow. We have our YouTube video and we have our geotagged image. I, I can't even stress this enough. 
think of the implications of what you can do with just those four short short codes. Did I hear it? Todd, did you want to say something there? Yeah, I was going to say, show them, uh, a lot of people are, are going to want to know, can I do this to existing images on my on my page? Yeah, I was going to cover so, that right next. So Okay, cool. Yeah, hit that. Media very next here. thing, guys. Yeah, absolutely. We did think of that, too. We thought, you know, a lot of people have um, images. You know, a lot are, of people ask us, can we use this on, on new, new sites or existing sites? It's both. New sites, it's awesome. Existing sites, if you've got an existing client who's on, who's stuck on page two or page three, promise you. All this yeah. plugin, do a couple of these little things, um, bam! You're gonna see, you're gonna see results. Everyone is. Go ahead. Yeah. So that's what I was just about to say. Is a lot of people are putting this plugin on existing sites, and then they want to geotag the images they already have. So you can see, I'm just gonna click on this cute little pooch here, and you can see right here, Project Supremacy XF Data. It's the same thing, guys. You're you're able to put in a description and a uh, address on the image and then save it and it's going to do the same thing that we, you saw with the other site. So that gives you the ability to either upload new images that you want to use or geotag images that you already have in the site. So we're fully, fully covered with, uh, with images. There is more I want to show you. We have an image converter. So uh, sometimes PNG images uh, or other formats of images give a little bit of problems with EXIF. The yeah, EXIF is really easy with JPEG, but PNG and GIFs, it's not so easy. So let's say you have a PNG image you really, really like and you want to EXIF it. We created this image file converter for you right in, inside the plugin. Just upload your PNG image, click, uh, well, there's none there. So you would just click on convert image and it will convert it for you. Once it's converted, you can geotag it. So you're, you're really using 100% geotagged images. We have that absolutely covered. The other thing I want to show you guys, back to one of my pages. Let's see if I got a page over here. I'll just go back into it. Because we're not done yet. <laughs> Saw a couple questions about the schema stuff. So we do have the schema, the general schema settings on the front page. I saw someone asked, you know, what do I do if I have multiple locations? Well, we thought of that as well. And you could see right here we have project supremacy page schema so that you're able to create schema on every single page of your site. So if you had different locations, that's fine. Just put in your different uh, business name, website URL, email, your address right here. This is where you would put in your different address for your clients. So you can service multiple locations on the same blog, blog by using a page specific schema. So that's another really super, super good feature of the plugin. Yeah, so I just want to add to that there um, on the uh, on the first place where you add schema under your um, project supremacy settings. The first place there, the general settings, that's going to, to be site wide unless you override per page. Now I know a lot of people in local, what you do is you target the main city first on the home page and then you have a lot of uh, other pages that target the surrounding suburbs. And when you have that, obviously you want you don't want uh, the uh, main city as the schema on your page, you want the suburb. So that's why we have per page schema also implemented so everyone can uh, benefit from uh, having uh, multiple suburbs on a site. Yeah, and the schema is something we're definitely seeing so much great results with. We are going to be expanding on the types of schema and the different, you know, modules of schema. So it's it's going to be killer. Um, how much? How am I doing for time here, Todd? Got one uh, more. We're we're at fifty minutes. Fifteen. All right. Fifty. Fifty. Oh. Okay. Well, I'll be really fast. There's one more thing I want to show you guys that is a, a, a super awesome thing. Let's say this was a client site, okay, and you really didn't want them to see that you were using Project Supremacy on their site. Well, what you can do is log into your members area, and uh, once this you're in your members great. area, yeah, this one, this one's super awesome. We have two different situations you can do remotely from your Project Supremacy members area. So let's say this was a client site you had the plugin installed on, but you didn't want the client seeing what's happening. I'm going to show you guys something back to back here, okay? I'm going to just go to my dashboard so you can see what's going on. This gives yeah, you the, complete control over your client. There's the Project Supremacy plugin, but all of a sudden I don't want my client to see it. I'm going to click this button. Here's the same associated site, and it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do this? It, it, it's going to keep all the settings and all the schema and everything, but what it's going to do, I'm going to click Dashboard again. 
Oh. Right? And bam. Did and you guys see that Project Supremacy disappear? Give me yeah. one if you saw it disappear. That is awesome. Right? So now what's happened here, guys, is your client no longer knows what the hell is going on, why their rankings are so good, because you hit it from them. But everything is still working in the back end. So they could go and see that the uh, I mean you could still see yourselves that the plugin is installed and working, but it's hidden. It can't Wait, work. Okay. I gotta ask you a question. Sure. What if they stop paying you and those guys are like, you know, they're all they're all over the first page of Google? That's a great question. Here's what you do. I had to ask because I saw the other little button there. That's awesome. I think yeah, you're 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 definitely on our uh, wavelength here. So that exact situation, guys. Now you're paying a client and you're kicking ass with them, and for whatever reason, and it's happened to probably all of us, they stop paying you and they revoke your access to their blog. Has that happened to anyone? Give me a one. <laughs> one. Yeah. I'll put in yeah. twenty ones because it happens all yeah. the time. Okay, so this next button, and I cannot use this one because here's what this button does, guys. When you click this button, because your guy stopped paying you, I, I am going to click it, but I won't confirm it. It's going to say, this will remove all data, project, short code, schema settings, and the rest, as well as deactivate the plugin off your customer's blog. So if they stop paying you, you stop giving them the thing that's giving them the rankings. Whatever you did to get them the rankings can now be undone to lose the rankings. Oh, that's well, awesome. I'm not going to click OK here. This is going to wipe the entire plugin and all the great things that you've done to their site. So it, it, it just gives you complete control over your client. And uh, I'm just going to end it there. That's the last of, uh, of my feature show. So I'm going to pass it back to hey, Todd now. One, one thing, Herc, while you're on the plugin there, go to the, um, the iWriter and I Need Articles API. Oh, right. I'm a little brief. Uh, overview of that. Really simple, guys. You get an I Need Articles account or an iWriter account. You can simply order all your articles, request your articles from within the system right here. Whenever they've um, completed the article, you'll see it down at the bottom that says it's ready to go. You click the button, the uh, the, the uh, article pops up in a light box and says, okay, what do, which which um, post or page do you want to post this article on? You click the button and it automatically ins inserts it into that post or page. Yeah, you never – actually, that, that's another point I wanted to talk about, guys, is PBNs. We all use PBNs to rank blogs. Well, if, if, if all you bought this plugin for was to save you a bunch of time on a PBN, think about this. You could geotag your images to your client's address on your PBN. Think about the relevancy power of that, and you're saving time by adding YouTube videos, articles, pictures that are geotagged on your PBN. It's just another – like. That's what I said earlier. You really have to wrap your head around how good this plugin is and how much you can use it. It's 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 got so many features. It's it's going to be as powerful as you are creative. Yeah, this could be used on money sites, PDN sites, either one of those. Uh, you really want to use it on both uh, to to get the relevancy and also speed up uh, any work that's involved in managing and maintaining those sites. Yeah, absolutely. So I am now going to pass this back All to you. All right, thank you, Mark. Everybody, everybody give Mark awesome. a big round of applause for that uh, awesome. awesome demonstration. Yes, yes, absolutely. All right, um, now everyone's uh, wanting to continue on here. Where everyone's like, okay, now of course everyone wants to know what about it. Now after seeing that, um, now would you agree that's the best SEO tool on the planet? I know it is the best SEO tool plugin that I've created. Uh, in a long time, uh, with the help of, of Herc, of course, uh, we, we think we put that together very, very well. Now, it wasn't easy to do. Uh, it's been in development for over a year, and we do indeed have over $50,000 in development costs in this plugin. So uh, this was not put together last month and brought to you today. It's been in development for a really long time, and it's continuously being developed every single day. Herc, we pushed an update this morning, did we not? We did, yeah. Yes, we did. We're pushing out updates at least every two days now. Uh, so we're continuously working on it, continuously taking um, users' feedback. And uh, I already see people uh, hashtagging the easy way. So let me see if uh, anyone else. Yeah, easy way, baby. Easy way, easy way. All right, good. I'm glad y'all. I'm glad y'all find that useful. All right, moving down. Moving on down. Um, here, just just to remind you, I don't want to spend. You know, any time on this, but these are just some of the 
the, the, the older rankings we've gotten for clients. Um, in a minute, Hart, maybe you could uh, fire up some live rank tracking stuff, huh? Yeah. Y'all want to see some live stuff? Does anyone want to see some real live stuff? I want to see some live stuff. All right, yeah. All right. Okay, well, um, I'm going to go ahead, and I know everyone's asking for the buy link on where they can get it, so so if, if, if you're ready to get it, uh, I want to see some hashtags PSV2 now. Is anybody still there? Anybody still excited about this? Yeah, I see them all coming in now. Yeah. All right. Um, the, oh, by the way, this is not public yet. We are launching this in February. We are launching this in February to the general public right now with this. Uh, what this is for us is to get in some beta testers and to get into some people using it to get some feedback. We want to, you know, do all that stuff, and then and then we're gonna, um, you know, obviously the price is gonna rise and uh, all that stuff. Uh, no upsells on this pre-launch webinar. Unlimited agency SEO license, like we showed you earlier, where you have the ability to control your clients, uh, install it on unlimited personal domains, unlimited client domains access to client hunter and access to schema competition tool those two tools I haven't even gotten to show you yet uh, uh, but I will if, if you guys want to see that stuff I, I think it's important that I show you what we use to go out and find clients that aren't using schema and be able to contact them basically we have a tool that says scrapes Google the top five pages tell me who who's using WordPress and who does not have schema that's a that's a potential person that you can go out and, and, and contact and say, hey, you know, give me a shot. You can install this plugin in okay. five minutes for them and, uh, and watch their ranking shoot up and then say, now you can pay me. If they don't want to pay you, you can simply deactivate their plugin. Now, that's, that's, the, that's the client hunter tool? No, yes. that's the, the, uh, the, the deactivation are you asking about? No, but that grabs the, the people that have the WordPress. Right, that's client hunter. I'll show you guys that in just a second. Um, and then obviously there's, there's there's the other version for you guys. Uh, it's a little cheaper uh, that you can use it on your unlimited personal sites, and you know that's cool. Uh, we see each and every domain that the plugin's installed on. Just FYI, uh, we, we we know what's going on there. So mark-helton.com forward slash first. I know some of you. It's been a, been right at an hour now, and I know some of you may need to um to to get on doing something else. So mark helton.com forward slash first. If someone wants to uh, put that, I see that, that that link is already in the chat. So, um, yeah, so that's where you guys can start uh, reading a little bit more about it. Oh, uh, that's right, the fast action bonus, guys. This is the rank and rank guide that uh, Herc has written and developed over the past year that people are just really, really getting a lot of really great feedback on this thing. This is actually the guide that, that, that Marissa studied and, 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 and went on, and, and she's a rookie, and went on and built a site, got it on first page, and sold it for $1,000 a month. That's what this guide is all about. This will really help you get a handle on how to do the rank and rent, me rank and rent method. All right, so now, now also, if, if, you, if, if whoever goes out and gets this, I want you to tell me. I want to congratulate you. I want to welcome you aboard. So I, I, want, I want to see a hashtag I'm in if, if you've picked this up. Now, uh, here, okay. Here's the the SEO agency pack, package has the has the schema competition finder and the client hunter competition. Now, what do you guys want to do first? All right, I'm just getting a ton of IMs. I appreciate yeah. it. I want to see the plan. I want to see the uh, the one that uh, shows you where the people are who have the WordPress. If you could. Okay. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, Herc, while I'm doing that, get ready to. Um, oops. I. I. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, coming down. All right, here we go. Now let me make sure I'm still logged in. Okay, guys, I just logged into another tool that we have. I have a, I have another big piece of software called the SEO Command Center, and we've modified it and uh, built a few more tools in here. And so uh, you'll see, you'll see a few different things over here. But what we're going to focus on right now is the Client Hunter and the Schema Competition. Now, Client Hunter is real simple. All we want to do here is go over here and put in a keyword. Pick a Google database, a Google country, so it works in any country, and a maximum number of pages, one, two, three, four, or five. You really don't want to go deeper than that because the people that are on page 10 don't even know they have a website, right? <laughs> um, so here's one uh, that I just did, the first three URLs, and it's called Attorneys in New York. Now, you, what you're going to find is, is that uh, sometimes people uh, have structured data and don't have a website, and people that, that don't have structured data and has a WordPress site, I saw one right down here. Uh, automatically you see this guy right here uh, no structured data but has WordPress that is the perfect person to go out and contact 
and say, hey, uh, let's get some let's get some structured data on your site as a test. If it works, you can pay me. If it doesn't work, no harm, no foul, no sweat. I'll deactivate your plugin and move on. It only took me five minutes to do anyway. All right. So so this is this is what you want to do is go through here and we can sort this. We can show hide structured data sites. We can show hide WordPress sites, so you can narrow it down to exactly what you're looking for. I see a lot of these guys who don't even have WordPress, right? Now these these are you know pretty decent contacts to uh, to sell them. Up. Now some of these are are those big uh, directory sites, right? But then and then there's a lot of gov in here too. So so attorneys is pretty popular like that. But but let's look at let's look at the painters. Okay, so now we have a lot of painters here. Has structured data, no WordPress. Uh, here's one right here. No structured data, but has WordPress. So we can go through here and we can find guys like this. There's another one. Oops, not that one, but that one. Uh, here's another one right here. Find that guy. Um, da, 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 da. So you can go through here and pick out uh, and search and sort. Now we can select them. Now what this does for me right now is what this has done is it's picked out all the sites that uh, I've selected and now it gives me all the emails that it found regarding you know this domain name so sometimes you can find uh, uh, the perfect site sometimes you know if you want to mail all these guys I don't think you would you want to kind of eyeball this and pick out the best emails and then you can can delete the ones that don't make sense for some reason this guy has a lot of uh, email addresses but like for instance right here okay we didn't find anything there you got webmaster at Dallas painters and you've got admin at Dallas painters you know maybe you just want to use webmaster there uh, we're going to take that one off webmaster admin again maybe we just want to use webmaster there uh, so you can load a profile. This is pretty cool. So this automatically uh, fills out a message, you know, a little um, uh, contact message that you can say, hey, you know, whatever you want to say about trying to contact that person, get them to contact you. We also have various ways of sending the mail out. Okay, we have Mandrill, Mailgun, SendGrid, Custom, Amazon, Easy SMTV, and Sparky Post. Okay, so this is how you would send that mail out to uh, 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 all of these uh, email addresses and then make contact with them. And uh, you know, let them know that you know you're an SEO professional and that you could you could install structured data on their site. And man, the questions are flying in hard. I'm going to try and get back to those questions in a minute. So so that's the client hunter. It allows you to easily find uh, customers uh, that that potential clients, I should call them. Uh, so yeah, Mark. So that's uh, that's so the client hunter there. I want to throw in a little bonus here. Uh, okay. Right now, for everyone that jumps in on this call. I'm going to give you – I'm going to write an email like right now and a, a voicemail script because I got a lot of people here that sell uh, – or that are using a hot prospector. And, um, and you know, they're already, I'm sure, probably salivating, thinking of some ways that they can go out and get some customers. I'm going to make it easier. I'm going to put together a voicemail message, uh, and I'm also going to give you an email template that will get these people to respond back to you. Um, so you can lock them up and get, you know, a couple hundred bucks real simple from them. Um, so just anybody that jumps in right now, um, go ahead and, uh, you know, just make sure you put I'm in. And then after your after this calls over, uh, send a support ticket in. Uh, make sure to do it tomorrow and I'll have the email and everything written up for you and send it out. Yeah. Can I add to that, Mark, too? <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean add, add to the bonus. I, I mean add to the thought. Like of uh, one thing oh, we didn't even explain to people is um, if you guys grab that agency license plus what Mark is giving you, um, there's there's just no reason that you can't go out and sell schema to a client for even like 200 or 250 bucks and pay for the plugin right there. But you have unlimited use of it. You know what I mean? If you're a motivated person, um, it's it's easy to pay for this plugin with schema, and the results will trust me. They will speak for themselves. If you look for Project Supremacy on Facebook, you'll find a public group there, and you will see a lot of people posting their results in there. Yeah, and and you know I'm not trying to brag or anything, but my my emails get really really good responses. We did a couple emails today. We're getting 50 percent plus responses. So if you got the right data, which looks like you do with this system, that's why I wanted to see this tool just to see what kind of you know stuff you're pulling in. Man, you take this, and you're going to you know throw out an email to these people, you're going to get some good responses and you can knock down a couple hundred bucks here and there real easy. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the other tool that we have in here is called the Schema Competition Finder. And this is what I like to use when I'm thinking about entering a market or a market, an affiliate product or a city. 
and what I want to do is go ahead and just put in you know a keyword like I have here and you know let it do its thing and then it comes back and tells me who has structured data as well so sort of the same thing but you're not emailing these people you're just kind of getting a look like this city like no one is using structured data here hardly one two two in the top ten I promise you plumbers in Sherman Texas would be easy to overtake with the proper SEO on page uh, some nice links coming in and structured data so uh, I like to use this tool when I first start out to see if my competition is using structured because I'm going to tell you if if there's a if there's a if there's a um, uh, you know a keyword or a niche and you see a lot of structured data as your competition then they know what they're doing right they're ahead of the curve right uh, doesn't mean you still can't take them out but it just helps you if you're just planning on uh, thinking about going into a market this is a good way to see what you're up against all right some other tools in here I just want to briefly go over that I'm just giving to you as a bonus inside here uh, mobile ready mobile ready is also a good selling tool uh, selling uh, 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 also a good way to sell people if they're not mobile ready you can put in any given URL and see if the sites um, mobile friendly or not uh, we have an on-page SEO scanner that uh, is pretty cool it goes out and 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 crawls an entire site and brings back a lot of information about what's wrong with it. Uh, if you want to learn how to fix uh, people's sites that are not mobile friendly, then there's a lot of resources in right here. A lot of things you can go in and study and, and grab for free to help clients become mobile friendly so that they can rank in Google. Here's 100 free responsive HTML5 CSS3 website templates right in here. So. A lot of good resources right here, and uh, and that's about it. That hey, is it. Back to the back to the to the client getting part because everybody's really excited about this. I mean, literally the chat is flying at like a mile a minute. Um, what do you think is a good solid uh, price point to offer? You know, the the schema for if you're just coming in and doing the schema for. Them? I would that? say around. I would I would say around two hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say about the same thing. And how long does it take to do, like with the with the plugin? Two minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> two minutes for two hundred bucks. I'll take it all day long. And that, and now how? I mean, literally, like within the from the amount of time that somebody gets in, gets this plugin, and they're ready, right? Like watch the training videos. How? What kind of a learning curve are we talking here for them to be able to go in and and like do this for a client? Are they gonna have to hire, you know, an SEO? Uh, guru to work for them or you know go to Odesk or something and find somebody to be on their team or is this pretty pretty cut and dried if you can fill in a form you can do our schema okay I mean it's 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 literally compared to the way that manual schema is and the way that we have it it's it's I mean I couldn't it's so far apart like for, for our schema you're just filling in the form. It's asking you, what's your address? You know, you put in the address. What's your phone number? You put in the phone number. What's your email? You put in the email. What are your social profiles? You put in the social profiles. You click save, and then you click validate. And what the validate is going to do is tell you, was it done correctly? And it will be done correctly. And if you want a second uh, opinion on that, you can also take that same website or that same page and go over to the Google validator tool and validate your site a second time over there so that you just have, you know, full confidence that you've done it correctly. Right. And and, and um, a lot of people are also asking, too, um, should we charge a $200 one time or can it be residual? Look, I'm always about residual. If I were you, I would charge them an upfront and a residual. Make it something cheap, maybe 20 30 bucks a month, and they're just going to keep on paying it because they don't want to rock the boat. So, yeah. you know, just, uh, just get them in there, lock them in, and, and then if they ever stop paying their monthly residual, then just shut it off. And, you know, this is one of those really easy sales where you should be able to jump on the phone with them real quick, you know, blow their mind really quick with some stuff that you just, you know, learned on this webinar and tell them, you know, give me 200 bucks. I'll, I'll log into your WordPress site. I'll make a few little simple changes and that'll be it. You're, you're, you're going to start shooting up the rankings in a couple of days. Uh, that's, that's awesome. This is this is great, great. I'm 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 floored right now. And and for anybody that's on the fence, like I, I can I can tell you this, we we've converted 
more people on this webinar than I've ever seen. So if you're on the fence, you're going to be missing the boat if you don't pick this up. It's practically nothing. And I know you guys are giving it away at this price. Somebody even said uh, what they say they felt like guilty because they yeah. have like 18 sites they're going to put this on. And man, th gosh, a hundred, what is it? $167 for the agency. That's right. Now let's raise, let's raise the price, Todd. Yeah. <laughs> let's raise the price, Todd. <laughs> yeah, well, um, less people, you know, less people will buy it and we'll have less competition. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It's, this is really honestly, to me, it's, it's such a no brainer. I actually just saw one comment. Uh, who was it? Glenn. Glenn Ho, thank you for this comment. He said, by the way, Herc, I was on the first webinar back in early December and it's really come a long way. I can tell you part into it. It's kick ass. Um, Todd and I, like Todd was saying, we're constantly updating this plugin, making this a better plugin. So from December till now, it's it's already improved so much. The other thing I want to say, guys, is we have over 500 members already in this plugin and our refund rate is less than 1% and there's a reason for that. People love this plugin. And like that's a stat that I'm I'm personally super Absolutely. super proud of. Three, we've had three refund requests. Wow. And it was basically three. because of Ion Cube. Their server wouldn't. They didn't want to install Ion Cube even after I offered to do it for them. They're just being ass wipes for no better word. Hey, <laughs> give give me give me a, a quick like one minute. Because we have a couple people that just came in late, and they're like so ready to come in because they just know that it, they're going to need it. But they just want a quick like one minute. What does this thing do in like 60 seconds so they understand it? Wow, 60 seconds. Um, yeah, it's tough. But what we're doing here, we're talking about structured data kind of at the core, uh, so to speak, uh, because we know that Google wants structured data on your site because – they can understand it better, fa better, faster, and cheaper. And schema.org came out a few years ago, and Google didn't acknowledge them exactly, but now it's come to 2016, and Google's now starting to say, we love schema.org. We would love if your site had schema.org, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna think more of you and think your site's a whole lot cooler if you've provided us with structured data because it lets us know what is going on. And that's just one aspect of this plugin. Another aspect in helping your rankings is geotagging your image with Exif Editor. We're doing that. And then there's so many other things that help you create your site from an on-page perspective, from a keyword perspective, from a keyword competition perspective, because obviously, you know, you want to look at your keywords and their competition and make sure you're going after keywords that are in your wheelhouse. So now, SEO does require a little bit of links. Uh, so, you know, it, every keyword has a different ranking competition. So let, keywords is, is good. Go ahead, Mark. Let me ask you a quick question, just just because I'm all about simple. And I know a lot of, a lot of people are about the simple and they want something that's going to be easy and not something that's going to take them a whole lot of time. You know, if you're like one of those guys that are really into SEO, he's got all the bells and whistles here for you. But let me just make sure I'm understanding this. If I went to a guy and I said, look, I can help you get your site ranked up, you know, a couple of minutes of just at, using the plugin to add the schema, which is that structured data that you're talking about. If I did that, that alone should be enough to shoot them up the rankings above their competition. And, and then I have the control to basically shut it off or clear out the schema if they don't pay me down the road uh, or if anything ever happens where I need to do that. Is that safe to say or? Yes. Yes, absolutely. If so if you want to go very, very simple, if you're one of these guys that are new and you're like, man, I, I'm just learning this whole thing. I'm going to give you an email and I'm going to give you a voicemail. If you're a hot prospect or a user already, I'm going to give you a voicemail template. It'll drop a voicemail automatically if you already got that. And I'm going to give you an email. We'll probably do like a three or four series email um, that'll get you people responding that you can sell this to. Okay. We're talking about a $200, you know, upfront for them, maybe like $30 a month right? Charge them something like that, $30 a month. And then when you sell the deal, right, you get them to pay you, then all you have to do is 
put this plug in on their site. And I know they have training on doing that, putting a plug on it. Uh, most people here have probably put a plug in, a WordPress plug in on somebody's site before. Fill out the schema data, update it, and you're done. That's it. And then yep. after the person starts getting their rankings, then you can call them up and say, hey, how would you like to scoot up a little bit more? And maybe you can do some of these other things that Todd and, and Herc are talking about here. And I'm sure at that point, it'll be worth it for them to pay you more, especially since you took them to the top of Google. What, what do you guys that's think? A, that's, such a, that's such a good point. Man. There's a, like, sorry, go ahead, Todd. Go ahead, Herc. You're on it. This, this is something actually we talked about in another webinar that was so funny. Um, a lot of people when they're going out and trying to get SEO business, you know, the first people are going to approach are their buddies or whatever or people or friends that they know that have businesses. Now, here's an interesting situation that you guys can do. Go make a bet with one of your business people that you know have a website and you know they're struggling to rank. Go make a bet with them and say, listen, I bet you 200 bucks that <laughs> yeah. within five days I can increase the rankings of your website, okay? So how that that's a no risk proposition for that person because if he loses the bet he pays you 200 bucks but he gains because his business is, has gone up in the rankings. If you guys are scared of like cold selling or cold calling and stuff like that, do it that way. Just go make a bet with somebody, put the plug in on, you know what I mean? You win the bet, you win 200 bucks. Now what's going to happen? They're going to look at you like you're some sort of magical wizard and now you're in a position to say to your buddy Give me a thousand bucks a month. I'm gonna do the SEO for your site. You're just positioning yourself in kind of a clever way, and that's something we talked about on the last webby that that people I think kind of liked. Yeah, and, and I also want to reiterate this. I've, I've written this down to someone else earlier, and I forgot to put it in here recently. Is this is Google slap proof? You cannot, will not ever be penalized for using structured data. It cannot hurt you at all. It cannot hurt anyone's site at all because you're providing exactly what Google wants to see. So, um, you know, so it's a no lose for you. You can't hurt the guy. It was, it was not going to hurt the guy at all for trying. And you can you can absolutely go in there with 100% confidence that the only way, the only thing that's going to happen is they're going to stay the same or they're going to move up. Can you put the link back up? People are asking for the link. Can you put the link back up? Yeah, oh, sure, sure, sure. Got it, got I, I just dropped it back in the chat, too. It's mark-helton.com forward slash first. That's F-I-R-S-T. Um, and you could still jump in. If you're on the fence, look, this is going to be one of those things where you're just going to – If you're on the fence, hang on. Herc, let's, just, let's just go ahead and jump into some hot stuff. Push them over right. the fence. Push them off the fence. <laughs> All right. Guys, I've never been more proud of, of, of a piece of software – and the results that uh, all of our students are getting. I mean, once you join, uh, once you get into our group, uh, you'll see uh, everyone um, going on about it. Herc, you got screen? Yeah, uh, one thing, you guys, before I show you live rankings, I want you to give me a number one to promise me that you're not going to do anything shitty to me for showing you live rankings on sites that we're going to use, please. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is, this is real, real live stuff. I mean, yeah, I know, this is live. I know I'm, I'm confident that Mark's people are cool. No, they're not um, going to do anything. You know, hey, I Google, know Mark well. We'll Google slap them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to start right here, actually. Um, this was, you guys can see, see uh, my Facebook page here. Can you guys see that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, you can see this is live. This was 17 hours ago, you guys. So testimonials are still coming in. I just want to start here. Rankings uh, regained in four days. Hey, Herc, this all started by when I was talking to you. Um, he had a site that was ranking number two for almost two years, and all of a sudden a competitor and hit him. Um, all of a sudden his site was um, it dropped to number five and then started bouncing number five to number nine for a while. Uh, he sent PBN links to it, no movement. He sent social signals to it, no movement. I installed Project Supremacy on it, used local schema markup as well as some EXIF data on my images. Four days later, I'm back to number two for my main keyword. Thanks for this awesome plugin, man. Here's the here's the graph. So this is this is real stuff, you guys. You can see this isn't uh, there's nothing bullshit here. This is real. Wow. And from there, yeah. So from basically, there, your fest, your Facebook page is like. A bunch of people coming in and like bragging about the results. I love it. Yeah, we have lots of them. And you guys, if you want to just go, like I said, go search for Project Supremacy. There's a public group there. Um, 
maybe I'll just pop that into the chat for you guys if you want to go. Anyone that joins are going to get into a private um, Facebook group, but we also have the, the public one, and I'll share that link right now where you can go and read what other people think of the plugin. So here you go. There's that link. Go ahead and look at that. But please, if you do join, um, we do a private group as well, and there's a lot more stuff going on in there. So I'm just going to load up a site here that we're building using Project Supremacy. Just give me one second. Doug, those were testimonials. We call them testes, and that's the picture we chose. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if that was going to get exposed. Yeah, no, I saw that, and I was like, gosh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are definitely strange. <laughs> oh, we have fun with it. <laughs> I've met I've right. met Todd in person, so you <laughs> like to have fun. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look. So this this is a live site, you guys. Uh, spray foam insulation, in Edmonton. I don't know if you guys knew I'm, I'm from Edmonton. Uh, this site, I registered the domain. Uh, I forget the date. I, I'm gonna try and pull it up as I'm talking about um, what's going on here. But I registered this domain, and I did the. Um, the project supremacy stuff on it. Like I, I did do some articles, YouTube videos, all the stuff we showed you. I did do all that. And within four days, I was ranked number 33 on my main keyword without PBN links and no theme. Actually, I'll even pull up the site so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay. And this, this to me is such an amazing thing because I've been hearing more and more that new, like EMDs number one, people are saying, you know, don't do EMDs, and I, I personally love them, and then they're saying it takes a long time for new EMDs to rank or even get indexed, and we were ranking on page three in four days with this site, and this is a good keyword. This is a keyword that uh, the service is expensive. There's a lot of searches. Um, this is a great keyword. You can see what the site is. It's literally nothing. It's 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 four pages with some articles, some geotagged images, and of course I have the insulation. And here's the rankings for that, you guys. You yeah, debuting right here. on page three or four is, is is awesome. Yeah, debuting that way. This what that tells me is if I debut that strong, it's not going to take me more. I, I bet you I could get to page one for a lot of these big keywords. You can see the global search volumes here. These are really good search volumes. I could get to page one with like five PBN links. Wow, and that's the thing with on-page SEO. When you do your on-page SEO right, and you're giving Google what they're asking you to give them, when you start adding a little bit of trust and a little bit of authority to those domains, they fly past your competition. We're doing stuff um, that's so much further advanced than than most businesses are doing. Like a lot of businesses are ranking by default because there's nothing else there. So when you come in and you find these keywords and you do what Google wants to be seen done, you just blow those guys out of the water. So it's you can see this. And I want to show you guys that, it, that that this domain was really not that old at all. And just answer questions as well while I'm trying to do this. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of questions. You guys want to just answer some questions while I'm just I want to show people and prove that okay. this domain is is brand new. Uh, Nick, we use uh, I, what you're seeing here is Pro Rank Tracker. Want to show them the protector side? Yeah, I guess I could do that. For any, give me a one if you guys are uh, affiliate marketers. If there's any affiliate marketers out there that that are thinking of using this plugin but aren't sure if there's any affiliate yeah okay all right I'm gonna show another site <laughs> all right before I do I think anybody you guys go? that is just I gotta throw this in here anybody that's doing anything with local businesses if you're not doing any affiliate marketing with this especially when you have stuff like this you're crazy you should be doing yeah. it always just like always be doing that that helps you like learn and, and also make a bunch of money on the side Mm -hmm. um, well, I don't want to show that much information, but you guys can see this expires on December 16th, 2016. That means I registered December 16th, 2015. So I, I don't want to show too much sensitive information there, but you can see that this domain is, is brand new and 
we haven't really even done much to it. And it is going to, and look at the keyword volumes, 390, 390 for these services that I could go out and sell this to someone for a thousand bucks, no problem. So yeah. just wanted to show you that. Yeah, and now cool. I will show you, uh, yeah, I'll show the big daddy now, I guess. <laughs> it's for all the affiliate guys out there. I mean, because we talk about a lot uh, of the, the the schema stuff and you know the local stuff, and it, it's such a great plugin for that. Um, but we always get the question, you know, what can we do for affiliate sites? And I think what that comes back to, guys, I'm actually going to start over here um, before I show you what you can do with affiliate sites. Is when you're doing affiliate research, you really need to do some keyword research and find out what the you know the easier keywords to rank for are. Oh, I hid the plugin. <laughs> yeah. Let me go unhide the plugin. Show plugin. Okay. And now I can go back to here. There you go. Now it's back. While you're doing that, uh Waverly is asking a question. You wanna sure. you wanna address that? Uh where is it? Can you read the question? Just there's so many I, He's I can't asking uh wanting to know um if or how this can help his business or uh, businesses if they're uh just all over the US. Schema, um, if you have a website that has multiple locations, then because we offer the ability to put schema on every page or post of your website, um, if you have a location page, then all you'd have to do is add schema for that specific address on that specific page. Excuse me, and you'll get the boost for that. Perfect. As well as uh, geotag the images to your exact business addresses for those pages, like th there's those kind of things. Um, and then all, those are the like immediate things you can do, and then of course like do better on-page optimization, obviously target better keywords, stuff like that, right? All right, guys. I just want to reiterate. I mean, a lot of questions like, can we use it on this side? Can we use it on that side? Listen, use it on every site. I'm telling you that when Google sees your site has JSON LD, it has structured data. They just think you're cooler automatically. I mean. We were doing some stuff with some other sites uh, such as this that are like affiliate type sites that doesn't have like a specific location designed for it, but we add schema to it and just give it like a state or a country. Just put a business name in there, something, and, 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 and activate that JSON. I promise you, Google just thinks you're cooler if you do that. Yeah. All right. Wow, guys, look at this site. Uh, and I'll give you the URL so you can go check it out. But uh, for those people that are asking, you know, um, can can we use this on affiliate sites? What this site is was basically the site that I built using the the idea of keyword grouping, targeting multiple keywords per page, but doing good keyword research and then doing the grouping. And when I built this site, it just kept going. I, I think that there's 20 links to this site for my main keyword was an EMD tempered glass screen protector. And it kept going, and it kept going, and it kept going, and it finally leveled off. You can see here, guys, between 1,800 and like 2,200 unique searches per day. Okay, here it is per day, Tuesday, January 5th. Today, I'm at 1,500 hits. Yesterday, I was at 23, 21. That's the power of grouping your keywords, and that's what I want to show you in this plugin. So if you were, for instance, going after like a weight loss supplement, I could open this up. And all I did here, guys, I'm not going to do it again because I kind of set this up to show you, is if you wanted to go after like a really cool, like maybe affiliate weight loss term, click this button right here, automatically create groups, and then you could put in your seed, key, seed keyword, and you can see the one I used was weight loss supplements. I put that in. I set my minimum search volumes to about 1,000 because I don't want to deal with smaller keywords, and then I click go, and it scraped a bunch of keywords, and then I did a bunch of work to clean them up to have tight groups. So you can see weight loss keywords here, fat burning keywords here, belly fat keywords here, weight loss pills keywords here. And setting a site up like this, guys, means that these keywords do a bunch of things. Number one, they're all super relevant to losing weight. They're all long tail. A lot of them are gonna be lower competition that you can start targeting. But when you start targeting and optimizing for longer tail keywords, over time as people start visiting your site, you start ranking for higher keywords, like harder keywords, like better traffic. And that's what organizing and planning these things help you do. And that's why the site that I just showed you is now getting over 2,000 hits per day because I did this exact process. And 
that was the site that the idea of Project Supremacy came from. And I can actually even show you the. Uh, hey, hey, Hart, Before you leave that page, show them how show them how we're getting the other competition stuff. As you notice, when you first import your uh, keywords from Google Keyword Planner, Google Keyword Planner doesn't give you the competition, really. All they do is give you a little bit of stuff. But what? But we tie this in. You saw on the settings paper we have CAPTCHA and any CAPTCHA. Well, if you took these keywords, let's say you took 10 keywords, and then you wanted to find the uh, in title competition, the in URL competition, you know, the broad and phrase uh, competition, all those, all that data. If you went to Google, you would be inundated with CAPTCHAs, and it would take you forever to try and and um, gather up all that information to see which keywords actually have a lot of competition or not. So what we've done is we've implemented a way to do that. Go ahead and run a couple. Yeah, I'll actually kind of go through that. So that this is back to that tempered glass site, guys. This is what I used to do, and this is how the idea, you can see the very very similarities to Project Supremacy, because this is how I used to do things, and it worked so damn well that I needed to create a plugin, and Todd was the guy to go to to help me get this idea out. And uh, so it went from this to Project Supremacy. So I used to go look up broad phrase title in URL, manually one at a time so I could see for these five keywords and four metrics that's 20 search results I had to do manually it took forever so here's four I'm gonna do it the same way let's say I like these keywords get keyword data I'm just gonna click this button and when we were talking about the captures guys this is why you need captures so that you don't get um, you know if you do too much researching on Google they sometimes show those captcha images for you this is gonna automatically solve them for you so that you can get all your data with one click. Yeah, I mean, go to Google right now and type in in title colon and some keyword and do that about, do that twice and you'll get Yeah, captured. you will. And it became very annoying and very cumbersome for me to do that. Um, but as you can see, this plugin's working. And there you go. I have my broad yeah. phrase in title and in URL match for every keyword pulled in for me with one click. That's so awesome. now I have competition data, yeah. Yeah, competition data, and, and, and I mean, that's such a huge time saver. Yeah, from this <laughs> to this is right. is huge, and then of course, with all the local stuff we added the schema, like it just became. There's no reason to leave your site anymore, guys. Keyword research on your site, article ordering on your site, competition research on your site. Um, YouTube videos on your site, geotagging images on your site, schema is on your site. Every, don't leave your blogs anymore. This the plugin really it just does it all. If you're on the fence at this point, I know I've said this before, you know, and obviously, you know, we can't just brush off your your concern or brush off your objection, but I really don't see any reason why uh, you know, everyone doesn't need this in their arsenal. So I gotta ask you, just put something in the chat box if you you know, if you have a concern, you have a question, you have something that's just keeping you back and you want to hear it, there's no better time than now to find out uh, whatever it is and have it answered by, uh, you know, by Todd and Herc here while you got them here. Uh, these guys are, you know, class act when it comes to, you know, this, 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 this arena. They know it inside and out. So put something in the chat. Um, if you're, you know, you're on the fence, you're not exactly sure what it is and let us help you. Let us let us help guide you down this path because uh, we're giving you literally, you know, everything that you need here. You've got the plugin that's going to help you get the results. I'm going to, you know, give you the, the, the tools that you're going to need in order to help you sell it. And, you know, they've also got an entire uh, lead finding platform built up so you can go out and identify all the people that need this. So there's really, this is like one of those situations where you've got a really simple situation uh, uh, that you can, plug and play and go out there and get some customers. Yeah. Uh, so with, uh, I'm going to start answering questions here then. I'm just going to answer these questions live. You guys are doing a great job of typing a lot of answers, but uh, I'll start going live. Um, would this work well to build a directory to rent out pages uh, by Sue Kolpensky? Yes, Sue, um, if you want. So like, for instance, um, kind of the, one of the examples I showed in this project was uh, air conditioning Phoenix where when I was creating the idea of what pages I was going to build I had an air conditioning page I had a heating page I had an HVAC page and I had a plumbing page so obviously it's it's not just about air conditioning it, it started kind of expanding as I saw more and more cool keywords um, so you could p build a page for like Phoenix services or something like that and rent out the pages on those sites um, 
do the schema, do the, the geo, do, do all the stuff that you need to do that we kind of showed you on the web. I'm not going to go over it again. Do all that stuff. Just be creative on how you plan and build out the site. And that's what this project planner is for, is to help you plan out your site. So absolutely, you can do the, uh, the directory stuff to rent out pages. It's actually a really good idea. So it looks like we got a few new questions here. Um, Maury wants to know, um, what do these do and why is it worth $100 more? I think he's asking about the difference between the two uh, versions. If not, Maury, just go ahead and ask for that. Sure. Uh, Maury, the difference between the agency and the personal version is if you guys want to work with clients and install this plugin on your clients' sites, um, then you're going to need the agency version. Whereas the personal site is just for you know your own affiliate sites or maybe your own rank and rents and stuff like that. So the agency version is going to allow you to charge clients for using the plugin on them. So it's it's probably a, definitely a better deal because you can make your money back faster. As well as the agency version version also comes with the client hunter tool that Todd covered and the schema competition tool that that was covered. So for an extra hundred bucks, you could you could charge. Um, clients as well as get those two extra tools. Awesome, thank you for that. Um, Nick wants to know, does this work in the United Kingdom? Yes. Okay, I'm going to just show you a general settings. Um, if you'd like to create, we have the keyword planner here, what you can do is select a default language. So this not only works in the UK, it works in all the countries that uh, the Google API works in. So if you want to do maybe uh, French sites or Spanish sites, it doesn't matter. And then the default country that you want to work in, uh, you would just have to set those here. And what that's going to do is create um, the, the competition data and the search volumes and stuff like that. It's going to give it to you in the defaults that you set over here. And then as far as schema, schema works around the world. It's not a, a, a geo-specific thing. It's a Google thing, and Google exists everywhere, so schema is going to work everywhere. And and does the tools also work in the United Kingdom? Uh, the the, the client hunter. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Um, let's see here. Uh, Scott wants to know. He says his client only has one location, but wants to rank for national keywords. Would he build out multiple pages for location schema? Um. It if, if he has one location, but he likes, uh, let me just give an example, like maybe the guy owns a business where he sells like a floor cleaning product, for example, and he's located in Edmonton, um, but he wants to rank for floor cleaning product. You're, as you go, national stuff gets a lot harder, of course. Um, so to rank bigger keywords nationally, you have to be, you know, the things you need to do better are you obviously have to have a lot better on-page optimization metrics. So I think the things like having the geotagged images, having the keywords tightly knit, having your uh, your title, URL, description, all that really, really planned out and done well, and then putting in PBN links to it is going to help you rank nationally. Um, but I mean, if he has a if he has a single location, the thing I would do is obviously rank him for his location so that he obviously thinks you know what you're doing right away and then work on continuing from there to go after much harder stuff. But the plugin definitely, definitely helps to rank for hard terms. You guys saw, I'm going to show it again here. I'm just going to type in the word tempered glass, which is a really hard keyword to rank for. And I'll show you um, because of keyword grouping and planning and stuff like that, which Project Supremacy does, I was able to rank amongst 13.3 million other websites number three. This is my site. So absolutely, yeah, it, 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 it can help with that. You just have to kind of use that's it the right killer. way. That's good. Yeah. Tempered yeah, glass. Hard. I mean, that's a pretty uh, popular term, I would Im imagine. Well, yeah, I mean, with the, the way phones are going, um, and, and it doesn't just – I mean, I'm ranking for tempered glass, and tempered glass is used in, in so much more than just phones – Right, but I'm still I'm still ranking for it. Um, I'll show you some more competition. If I put it in the phrase match, we still have 12.5 million results, which is wow. anybody in their right mind would say, do not go after this keyword. I'll put it in title. You can see we have 488,000 sites with that term in the title, and once that's that's ridiculously hard, and I'm still ranking um, in URL, the last one. And these are the four metrics we pull for you automatically you could see 483,000 results. Ridiculously hard, and I'm still ranking. So that's the power of planning. 
which is what Project Supremacy basically started as. It started as a good planning tool, and it just ballooned from there once uh, Todd got a hold of it. That is awesome. Um, you know, a few people that got in late, and I know because I'm that guy, sometimes I jump in and I'm like, oh, what did I miss? But I'm ready to go. If you're if you're on the fence here and you're just like, well, what about the training? What about all this? Look, I'm going to be sending out a replay on this. So you're going to have the whole like details of how it works that that was covered within like the first 15 minutes or so. Uh, but on top of that, there's, there's training videos and all the stuff that you're going to need to install this on the site and, and activate it and make it work. I mean, this is something that, you know, it's, it's, I would say probably the most simple thing I'd say it's probably child's play. I'd say my, my, my 10 year old could, could do it for sure. So, yeah. And I just want to show that actually as you're talking about it, this is the members they are going to get in and people are, uh, yeah, I mean, we showed a lot of features and they're like, oh my God, how am I going to ever learn this? You can see here, guys, these little tabs, there's a video for literally every single feature of the plugin, our API keys, conditional, schema, schema validator, proxies, like everything, okay? So there is full on support for all the stuff in your members area. So don't, don't worry about learning how to use the plugin. Um, just come and watch these videos, and you'll learn everything. Glenn is Glenn is um, is is pumping up your ego, Herc, uh, <laughs> and also trying to get you to commit to something here. I don't want to say it out loud, but you should read the chat and uh, uh, you know before you before you uh, commit to that. <laughs> is it the silo stuff? Yeah, he's asked Herc. a few times. So okay, sorry, Glenn. Uh, the, our chat is literally berserk right now so sorry if we miss stuff guys just keep trying and we'll eventually get to it silos um, silos are pretty easy with this plugin um, it, it's not quite the same way of, of the other silo plugins that you've you've seen but basically what we do here I'm gonna go to a page um, all a silo is guys is is a pattern of linking so let's say I wanted to link from my home page to this page to this page to this page and then at the bottom I want to link back to the top that's the basic structure of a silo and I don't know why people complicate it or or teachers kind of complicate it maybe they want to sell tools um, but all we do to build silos is if I go into this page and I want to link from my well that's the I changed my h1 there but if I want to link to the next page I use it my internal my internal page so I'm going to link from this page to the HVAC page so I'll just click OK, and there my link is built for me to the next page. Now when I update that, it's going to store the link. Then all I do is go to the next page and do the same thing and just create a round circle, just kind of like how I showed you, starting at my home page, linking to the next page, to the next page, to the next page. So silos aren't that hard, and Project Supremacy uh, gives you a quick, easy ability to create silos by using that interlinking feature. So uh, does that kind of answer your question, Glenn? I mean, I know you want more advanced training, and I think Todd and I are going to definitely put some stuff together where I'm going to go over, um, you know, stuff like how to build silos, how to choose your keywords, how to use that whole um, this thing right here. There's a little bit of an art to using this, and I'm I'm getting obviously very good at it. We'll go over some advanced training on uh, on how to really make this part really good, how to create titles, URLs, all that stuff. There's uh, We'll definitely do some some training inside the members area for stuff like that, and of course, if you buy, you have access to us as well. There, there you go. I, I like that. That I think that's what Glenn was looking for. Um, yeah, he said thanks. That's what he was looking for. Um, so so just for those of you that heard all this silo, this and all that, look, you do not need to do all of those things in order to make this simply work for a local business. This is. This is more advanced stuff, and you know what I love about this is that you guys have made something that's really simple for the, the guy that doesn't want, a guy or gal that doesn't want to have a very complicated business, and they know that SEO sells because it does. Um, and then you've also made it more advanced for people who have like a need for more you know powerful features and you know the, the ability to do these more, uh, you know, put together structures so right. I, I I love it I mean this is this is really really awesome and and uh, I really appreciate you you guys coming out and spending this much time with us and 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 you know going through all this no problem enjoyed being here we love talking about this stuff and as I said in the beginning I, I can't be more proud 
of, uh, of what we've developed here and uh, more proud of the results our users are getting. I mean, we only showed you a tenth of you know the testimonials. We haven't even screenshot all of them. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, and like you were saying, just to just to reiterate, this is a simple tool to help you increase your ranking simply with an existing site. It's also an advanced tool to help you go after some gigantic affiliate terms and create a site from scratch with the proper keyword research, with the proper articles, proper videos, proper structured data, proper headlines, proper titles, proper interlinking, proper silos. All that stuff's included in here. It's yeah. I, I this this question's come up a few times and I just figured I'd ask um do you have any um plans on putting something together for non WordPress sites? Actually I'll answer that. Um I have been thinking uh, a bit about that and um I haven't even sort of discussed this with her yet, but I'll go ahead and just kind of throw it out there now. But I do believe that I can uh, figure out a way to take a, an HTML page and import it with a couple of clicks of a mouse, uh, go out and grab it, and bring it in, um, generate the JSON LD code, and then insert it properly into the HTML, and then validate that HTML, and then properly put it back where it goes. I'm, I'm, I'm about 95% positive that uh, I'm going to be doing that. Um, just a little bit down the road, right now our main focus is uh, making sure that the plugin is, is working as advertised and, and all the things that keeps it running. But yeah, um, I understand what uh, the question is, and, and I've had that question uh, popped out to me uh, last week, and so I've been thinking about it, and so pretty sure I'm going to try and develop something and uh, have that. Um, Just the fact of, that uh, you guys are open to that is huge. I mean, right. that look, they're they're not stiff guys. They're they're working with you. They've got a Facebook group. They're going to be there uh, to help make sure that you're successful. And, and you know what? I feel really, really comfortable uh, recommending Todd for anything, um, you know, and Herc, I mean, after getting a chance to see you in action today, I feel the same. I mean, if you, if you're looking for someone that's going to take good care of you, they, they, they keep, uh, they keep their stuff updated and listen and take real feedback and act upon it. I know Todd is that guy. I mean, he took his SEO command center and updated it and updated it and upgraded it and I mean that thing is a beast so if mm -hmm. this is going to be anything like that you guys are getting like you're getting access to a plugin that's going to have like a a full team of people working on it all the time yeah we do we're super we do. committed like and I, mm -hmm. I know we t touched on it a little bit earlier but like we just released uh, an update today, and today was actually the day we showed people we just added iWriter, which is a huge integration because a lot of people don't want to use either I need articles or for whatever reason. So we get enough features enough times, and it and it goes in. So like, uh, we're on version two point four point one eight, and um, I mean, what is that like four hundred and eighteen upgrades or something crazy? It's it's ridiculous how much we're updating the plugin. If we find bugs, how fast we're we're nailing those. Our support is is down like we never have more than 10 tickets open at a time um with that many users like we're just this is kind of what we do 24 7. <laughs> yeah it is it's, right it's now fun too i don't, I don't know i now know either. why like todd was calling me like all the time during the holidays like he kept on texting me and <laughs> calling me and texting me and skyping me and emailing me and i'm like ignoring him not on purpose, but my wife will kill me if I don't like take off a little bit of time throughout the year. And I was like, what could be so big of a deal? Like it's just an SEO plugin. Come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> so I you're you're forgiven. I'll tell my wife that this is really cool and she'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, now that you've seen it. <laughs> right. 
Well, I heard about it, and I was like, okay, you know, like, because I hear that all the time. You know, oh, this plug right. This is the one. But this is, wow. Good stuff, guys. Thanks, Thanks Mark. Yeah, I don't know if anybody's watching what I'm doing here, but I'm going, like, I, I, I don't know if anyone saw it. All I did was, like, click automatically create groups, and I typed in uh, tap of water damage because I know there's probably <laughs> pretty good market in there, and it grabbed a bunch of stuff for me. And you can see I obviously don't want to build a, a website based on what they gave me back, but I'm slowly going through and looking for good keywords that I might like. Water damage Tampa, Florida with search. And I found, like, water damage Tampa. You saw me. Uh, here, I'll show you what I would do with that. Just because it's in a big group, I don't want to target all those keywords. So what I'm going to do is just select it, change keyword group. All right. And now I'm going to create a new group. I can move to an existing group, this keyword, if I want, or I could just create a new group, which is what we're going to do. Uh, where was I? There we go. And I'm changing. And it's going to throw this keyword into its own new group, which is how I'm able to move keywords into groups. And uh, you can see carpet cleaning can't tap was one I just did. I got a lot of groups here, so there it is, Water Damage Tampa. Now it's in its own group. I can do proper SEO for this keyword. Wow. So, yeah, it's just, it's. we didn't go over this a lot. Uh, it, it is gone over in the videos, but this tool, man, it's awesome. <laughs> hey, I, I still can't believe it's 167 bucks. Are you guys planning on raising the price when you go live? Yes. Yeah. Why didn't we mention that like 45 minutes an hour ago? Because, <laughs> like, look, I hate to say this, but because we're gonna have to end this webinar soon, only yeah. because we're gonna we're gonna run out of bandwidth here with uh, with with we're with um, go to webinar. But you know, I hate to say this because here's the reason why: because the sales still keep coming in. They just like click click click. People keep on jumping in. So if you're on the fence and you want to get my bonus, then you gotta get in here right now and uh get access to this but i mean obviously you know this, this this you guys could probably spend five ten hours sitting here just telling people about all this stuff yeah yeah it There's, always always ends up like this it's cool yeah it's kind of crazy because over time obviously we've built in so many features that it looks like it's this big behemoth of a plugin but it's it's really not it's really actually really simple to use um once you just spend a little bit of time with it you'll fall in love um, with, with a single feature or you'll learn a new one, you'll fall in love with that. Like we've gotten such amazing feedback from, from users that it's been, I mean, we're, we're super pumped about it ourselves. Like, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna throw down the countdown. Uh, we'll, we're, gonna, we're gonna take uh, one more question, 60 seconds. Get your last, last question in here uh, and then uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna end this um, so you guys can get access to this. I bet you some people are kind of just sitting here listening as they're playing with the plugin already. So, yeah, Todd, do you mind if I pass this back to you so we can get that link back up there one more time? No, go for it. Good idea. Okay. And and I want to say something here, and I always always just kind of like to do this. Just uh, you know, I mean, I know I know there's a lot of people on here that are still here that already said I'm in. Let me show my screen. And I uh, really appreciate that. And I just kind of want to know, just honestly, you know, what you, you know, what you think about, you know, the plugin and, and what it does, and maybe, maybe why you bought it or why you liked it. Because sometimes it's hard for us to, to see exactly, you know, what you what you liked most about it. And just, just, you know, I mean, if you liked it, we'd just love to hear it. Um, if you didn't, then you know, we certainly want to hear that as well. <laughs> No oh, thanks, Steve. <laughs> Steve said, I, "I'm in, even though I only saw five minutes of the webinar." Hey, there you go. <laughs> That's <laughs> social proof at its at its finest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Time uh, saver. Yeah, huge time saver for local SEO. Absolutely. Yeah. Easy it is to improve improve rankings. Use it on the client sites. Yeah. Jim. I like the idea of targeting multiple services in a city with subdomains using this. Yeah, you can install this on subdomains too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. We never even talked about that, Jim. Good comment. Thanks for that. Yeah. Rank and rents, rank and rent sites. Replaces yeah. Picasa. Absolutely, absolutely, Glenn. That's a um, big reason why we added it because we use Picasa. We used to use it like that, and uh, now we can do it right inside and don't have to run around. 
We're replacing Yoast. We're killing Yoast, guys. We're going to make the move to squash Yoast completely. Yeah, that's, uh, that's actually in the plans. I think you guys are on the right track. Yeah, I know we've had a lot of people. Uh, I don't know if we even really covered this that much, so I'm just going to show. Oh, no, I don't have the screen. But, yeah, we definitely have the same thing as Yoast has where we have the title and the description, but we fill it in for you automatically from the keyword planner. So we're a step up, and Yoast does not do schema. A lot of people confuse that. What Yoast does is called Open Graph OGG, and all that does is allow you to display the, the title and the description and a picture on social sites that you set in Yoast. Schema is a completely different beast than, than uh, OGG. OGG is not a ranking factor, while JSON LD is a ranking factor. So keep that in mind. No Yoast, you're my superheroes. <laughs> Bye-bye, yeah, Yoast. Well, awesome. Okay, guys, I just dropped the link in there one more time. If you're waiting for the webinar to end, now is your chance, but get it now. Um, I'm going to be sending out a replay here soon so everybody will have an opportunity to watch this uh, web and what, what did somebody call it earlier? The uh, Webathon. Uh, webathon. You can come back and watch this a little a little uh, later on, on uh, the replay, but either way, this is uh, this has been a very awesome presentation. Everyone, go ahead and uh, say thanks to our guests for uh, you know coming out today and spending all this time. He, Hunter says this was an amazing 30-minute webinar, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, you had an opportunity to leave, but you decided to stay. So yeah, thank you guys for staying and, and checking everything out, and thanks to everybody that bought. Uh, we will not let you guys down. We can't wait to see you in there. They're still coming in, so yeah, yeah. Keep, keep them coming. We love uh, supporting these guys with with your uh, with your uh, your purchases there. That's awesome. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. We will uh, see you on the inside of the system. Um, as far as the the uh, the uh, bonuses, just go ahead. I sent uh, I've dropped a little link in the um, the questions box on how to get access to that. And uh, so just go ahead and do that. Just send them the support ticket tomorrow with your with your receipt and uh, they'll deliver it right on up to you. All right, guys. Thanks again, Todd. Thanks again, Herc. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thanks everyone for coming. Thanks everyone. All right. Bye-bye. Catch you.